Hello guys, it's Thomas Peter here and welcome back to yet another Adobe Illustrator tutorial on creating vector line art using just a mouse. In this video, I will walk you through the process of transforming a photo into a stunning piece of vector artwork all without the need for a graphics tablet or stylus. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned illustrator, you will learn valuable tips and techniques to elevate your digital art skills. So grab your mouse, let's dive into the world of vector line art. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve with a simple mouse and illustrator. So are you ready to turn pixels into perfection? Let's get started. But first of all, we need to know what line art means. Line art typically consists of images composed primarily of uh, straight or curved lines without gradations in shading or color. It's characterized by its simplicity and minimalism, often used to convey ideas, outlines, or essential features. Line art can range from basic sketches to intricate designs and is commonly employed in illustrations, comics, and technical drawings and design. The absence of color or shading allows the viewer to focus on the form, structure and details delineated by the lines themselves. Sketching a photo in Adobe Illustrator using a mouse can be challenging due to the precision required, but it's definitely possible. So launch Illustrator and you'll be welcome to this interface. So the first thing you're going to do is to create a new file by clicking here, create new file. You can select from a range of presets for mobile, web, print, film and video art and illustration and etc. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to choose the orientation to be portrait. Then when you come to advanced options here, come to raster effects and choose a, a highest resolution. Preview mode, I'm going to leave it at default. And then we can click on create. Now you have your artboard here. In Adobe Illustrator, an artboard is essentially a canvas where you create your artwork. It's like a virtual piece of paper where you can draw, design or arrange elements for your project. You can have multiple artboards in a single illustrated document, allowing you to work on different designs or variations within the same file. Uh, if you feel like your artboard is still small, there is a way you can try to correct that and make it so big. This is the artboard tool or you can click on shift plus O. When you click on it, you will see these intersections popping the anchor points on the corners of this rectangle. Whenever you hover over this anchor point, you will see these double edges that are pointing both ways. So you can just click in the middle here and try to drag it to try to make the artboard bigger if you want to, like this. So after setting up your artboard, the next thing you're going to do is to find the photo that you want to import on this uh, artboard. So go to file and come to place. Then from here, we can choose uh, we can choose this photo and click on place. So we can click on the center of this artboard to place it. Use the selection tool to drag and center your photo on the middle of this artboard. So what we need is uh, this guy with the tongue out. So we are going to be making only the cartoon head, not the full body. So we are going to just position this guy on the artboard alone. We leave out this small guy. Or we can just crop here. We can try to crop and uh, make sure we cut out this small guy. Like this. This is cool. Then apply. Now we can resize it to the artboard to fit the artboard. So now, when you're done resizing your photo on the artboard, the next thing you're going to do is to try to reduce your opacity. And the reason for this is uh, to make sure your lines appear well so you can see them while you're drawing. Because if you're just going to draw on this, if you're just going to sketch this one later, your lines, your stroke lines will not appear properly. So it's good to reduce the opacity to at least 70 or 60 around here. This is good. And then now we can lock the photo layer. And we can create a new one on top of it by clicking here. 
we click on create new we have created another layer this is going to be the line art layer this is the photo layer I'm trying to make it like this so we don't mix up things it's easy for you to come back to that layer to try to make some changes if you feel like you've made a mistake so we can continue so from here now if you just get the paint brush tool and think that you will start drawing you will never get the good brush you'll get the default one which is this one here on top the uniform art brush this is what you'll get and it's not a good brush guys so we're going to create a we're going to create a new new art brush click on line segment tool and hold down shift and draw horizontal line at zero degrees increase the stroke size to three points come here and choose with profile one and head to this dialog box and choose new brush and if you have a graphic tablet with that stylus you can use calligraphic brush for us who use mouse to draw art we are going to be choosing art brush here if you feel like you want to rename this art brush you can do it here but if you don't want to just make sure stretch to fit stock length is checked here and then click ok now you can try to draw using the art brush so sometimes I don't necessarily click on the tools on this panel here sometimes I use shortcuts a lot because I feel like they, they save me a lot of time so if you don't see me clicking on some tools on this panel just look down here on this bar here this below bar every tool you will click on the name is always written here so when you feel like you don't see where I clicked maybe I clicked on the shortcut on the keyboard so you can always see below here what I've selected like if I click on paint brush tool here you'll see it's written here paint brush if I click on type tool you'll see it's written here type so that's what it is so we will delete these brushes and now we have to go to our drawing the line art we can reduce the smoothness of this paint brush tool and we get to drawing zoom in a little bit normally I like to start with the eyes and the lips the heels the nose these are the most essential parts that are really important on the face and they require attention to detail so you don't mess up everything you have to start with them first spend your energy on this so you can move to the rest the rest are simple if you get this one right so let's get started like this so sometimes when you're new to this drawing with mouse your hand can be a little bit shaky sometimes so it will take a little bit of uh, practice for you to master drawing with mouse at the end you really learn how to be comfortable using mouse for drawing you want to see your lines hide the photo layer here by clicking on this eye then you can see your stroke lines how they look bring it back then continue we'll draw here this side also and we'll draw the shape of the ear You try to just follow the outline let's see how it looks perfect now we move to this other eye we'll draw the nose let's go to the nose it's very simple guys just follow the shape and you'll get it right instantly for us to draw these dark shadows under the nose we're going to use the pencil tool here or the shortcut is N on your keyboard we will select it and now we will switch this color back to the fill tool this black color then we draw this shadow below the nose like this then we can click on this color we have selected from the fill tool and 
and then we apply it the same here let's see how it looks it's coming then now let's come to the lips here let's draw this guy's big tongue Let's see how it looks okay it's coming we'll do the same thing by drawing this dark shadow under under the mouth here below the teeth I mean we will uh, switch this color back to the fill tool and then we draw with the pencil tool here let's go Okay, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's coming. So let's draw the chin here. We start from the side of the face. coming guys it's coming it's coming let's draw this dark area inside the eye we will use ellipse tool and draw make it black this is good we are going to draw the eyebrows I mean the eyelashes Let's see how it looks it's coming guys it's coming let's continue basically this is what you'll be doing throughout the the drawing process we're going to be just switching back and forth if you want to draw the darker areas you use the pencil tool if you want to draw the outline of other parts you use the pen brush tool so it's the same thing you just be doing until you finish the, the outline or the sketch. I'm going to fast forward because it's the same thing I'll be doing until the end. I think it came out good guys so stay on the lookout in the next phase on how I'm going to apply color on this 
and thank you guys if you have reached this stage of the tutorial i appreciate your patience and i hope you learned something today if you still have some hard time while doing this don't hesitate to let me know in the comments section below so i can address your issues in the next tutorial that's coming up and please make sure you subscribe if you have not done so so we can grow our community together please share this video to your friends who would like to learn some vector art so once again thank you guys and i'll see you all in the next video